So I just picked up this diesel heater for my wife to make her happy on a cold night during camping. And all I ended up getting was lack of sleep because it smells in here. So we ended up not using it. Then I got, it's cold in here. This is all night, waking me up all night. I got no sleep, but we couldn't use this thing. And we chose not to use it. And first, I'll tell you some of the good things about it. If you are looking at a diesel heater before I get to the good stuff. It blows very, very hot air. Um, it's, they claim it's a five to eight kilowatt uh, diesel heater. I'm not 100% sure about the eight kilowatt, but when I have this thing on high, it is blowing out so much hot air through those vents that I can't keep my hand in front of it. It, it will literally burn my hand. So it definitely puts out a lot of heat. On low, it, uh, it feels like it's enough heat to heat that 10 person tent behind me all night if I just kept it on low. And honestly, all the complaints I've heard about it sounding like a jet engine and the ticking noise, it's really not that bad. I will give, it, give them that. Uh, you do hear the fan going because it's a fan blowing air through to bring the heat in. Uh, it's not as loud as I thought it was. And the ticking is kind of uh, almost hypnotic. It's not a bad ticking sound. Tick, tick, tick at, at, at low speed. So it's really not that bad. Um, if you're looking for something to heat, this is going to do the heating. Uh, the instructions are terrible. Uh, definitely, uh, someone used a poor translator uh, when they translated from Chinese to English. It's terrible instructions, but it, you'll figure it out if you take your time reading it, and you'll figure out how to prime it and do all those things you need to do. Uh, basically, that's all I'm going to say about the good stuff, because you see that on every single YouTube video. I want to talk about why I think this thing's a piece of crap. And I'm sorry that I even spent $150 on it. Um, honestly, in the future, I think I'd rather spend, save my money up and just go full blown with, the, with a Wabasto or something like that. Uh, I know they're expensive, but... So, when we first cranked this thing up, oh, actually, no, let me back that up. I filled up this, this tank. Right? So you have the cover here, right? It holds a gallon of diesel. I filled it up and let me show you something. When you tighten it, it's, it seems somewhat tight there. If I stop there, it'll leak. If I try to make it tighter, it loosens up and, it, again, and it just keeps spinning. So I have to judge where it is is gonna be the tightest spot before it loosens itself up again. Now for something that's supposed to be portable or something that you're gonna put in a car or a van or your trailer or anything like that, that's unacceptable, I'm sorry. I had this thing filled with a gallon of diesel in the back of my trailer and now uh, the case to my portable toilet is soaked in diesel. My tent case has diesel on it. Luckily that didn't soak through, but it, that's why I'm wearing these gloves. Every time I touch this thing now, my hands smell like diesel because it leaked all over the place. I'm not, that's not, that's not acceptable. I'm going to be returning this or at least requesting a return through Amazon. Um, see if they'll give me my money back on this thing or if I can just send it back. But I don't see how since there's still some diesel in here. And I don't plan on spilling it out, but we'll, we'll revisit that another time. Um, the other problem, this is not why I'm returning it. If, if it was just this other problem, I'd probably hold off, test it out a little bit. But when we were blowing this, we had it attached to this. This extends to about eight feet. So we had the, this, uh, the unit was about seven feet away from our tent. We had this blowing in and all we kept getting inside was the smell of plastic and chemicals. I almost thought at first it was the diesel smell because the diesel coming out of this has sort of a sweet smell to it, uh, like a sweet pungent smell. But, so I thought maybe it was the fumes coming in. So what I did was while this was coming out, I sniffed right through the vent that was coming in what's supposed to be clean air. It smelled, it was a very, very strong plasticky smell and it might've been in my head, but when I did that long enough, I felt like I was getting a little bit dizzy and lightheaded. Again, that might have just been in my head. But even if there was no carbon monoxide leakage, no diesel leakage through here, that's serious chemicals I'm pumping into my tent. Right? Now, I'm not one of those guys, I'm not paranoid about that stuff. Um, I, I, I'll run a propane Mr. Buddy heater in there all night, no matter how many times people tell me not to do it. I've done it, and I'm alive. But this, the, those smells, I'm not okay with that. Um, again, if I wasn't returning it because of the gas cap issue, I would probably burn four, three or four tanks through here, see if it, ha see if it changes anything. I'd probably open it up, take, it, take the motor out, try cleaning it off, see if there's any grease on there, whatever it is. Which, if they, they don't accept the return, I may end up doing something like that. Um, but 
we ended up not using it. I bought it so the wife can be warm, and then we not we didn't use it because it was just a strong chemical smell inside the tent. Um, I did some research. I went on Reddit, things like that. People talk about how uh, it burns off there after a few uses. Sometimes some people said after a few tanks. I still don't find that acceptable. I can't say if, if a $1,200 Wobasto was going to do the same, but I'm not trusting this. I'm sorry. I'm not using it with that smell. So hopefully they'll take my return. If the second unit I get does the same thing, then I'll probably be a little more accepting that um, it's just something that needs to burn off. Um, and if that's the case, before I come on my trip, I'm probably going to burn like four tanks of gas on high through this thing. Um, I did burn almost a full tank on this uh, outside the tent just to try to burn that smell off and it didn't help. So I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that's what I want to tell you people about. All you hear about is the good things about Chinese diesel heaters and how they heat the tent and how they do this. Some people complain about reliability. I'm telling you about two other issues. Right off the bat, this is for something that's supposed to be portable, that is not acceptable for a gas cap. My trailer should not be stinking of diesel fuel. I should not have to wear gloves every time I touch this thing because it's all greasy from fuel. And obviously I have no different cleaning supplies for something like that. So anyway, anyway, if this video was helpful for you, you want to see the follow up to this, whether or not I got a refund or what my next step was, which probably won't be until the fall time, please like, subscribe. Tell me in the comments what you thought about this video, what you want to see next. Until the next time, enjoy your camping trips, folks. Eric from Dabbling Outdoors. Take care.